All right, we are into the Platte uh, Duroc Guild offerings, the first pin of three. Uh, we've got uh, tag numbers 466, 494, and 495 in the pin now. Austin's on 466. Uh, this is 27-1. This would be a partner sow with Sam Shear. Uh, when we bought the Michaels uh, dispersal sows, uh, this is one that uh, is a result of that. Uh, this is a selfish sow uh, sired by Red Eye, as I mentioned before. Red Eye sired the Riley Wintbarrow that uh, won the uh, uh, Expo last week, as well as the recovery there in Des Moines. And um, this Red Eye Guild is, is one of the younger ones in the sale, um, uh, you know, the 7th of April. A little more immature in her type and kind, but awesome head and neck. I think she's proportionally good enough in terms of length and frame. Uh, got that green immaturity look and, and still one that's square enough underneath. Pastern set's really good. Red eyes come with muscle. Not real concerned with that. I think she'll uh, uh, be an aw awfully good kind of a big guilt there uh, when it's said and done. If we're talking about a market hog or a breeding guilt, I think she's pretty versatile. Uh, in, in those regards. Uh, 494 is going to be the 49-4. Uh, uh, this is a, a hibachi gilt. She is smaller for her age. Uh, maybe didn't get the best start, but she is an incredibly good animal. Um, she is a, uh, you know, the 6th of March, uh, probably looks more like the end of March size. Uh, you know, she gets after it. I think she can catch up uh, when it's said and done this fall. But uh, as far as quality, showing by quality, she is uh, an awfully good kind of a female. Hibachi's done an awesome job this spring for us. Uh, very excited about what that, uh, what that boar's uh, done for us, uh, laying in females as well as bears. Stout, burly, awesome pastern set. She starts stout about her head. Awesome center body. This dark red guild is very flexible off both ends. Uh, incredibly good hip and hind leg. Heavy structured, good centered. Uh, another guilt that uh, we're very high on, and I think she'll uh, uh, be very uh, good in terms of jackpotting, but uh, make a good breeding or market hog depending on your uh, final destination. 495 is 50-8. Uh, this is a 76 guilt uh, back on a, a Take Me Home style, which would be the Hinker guilt Vigers showed last year. Um, this gilt here is another one that is extremely, extremely durable, heavy structured, uh, a gilt that's got good size for her age and still comes and goes with width and power. Great center body and, and one that still opens up with some shape and muscularity as she drives right away. Hip and hind leg is near impeccable in terms of squareness. Uh, just a, a gilt that's another one, as we talked about, if you're ready to go show, uh, you want to make a, a, big, uh, a big jackpot gilt or a, a big uh, uh, gilt come Kansas City, Louisville, we think this April gilt is going to be awfully, awfully good regardless when and where you show her. Uh, we like this gilt quite a bit. Uh, the 76 bore there at Crossroads really clicked with uh, our four or five litters. 